All right, we're back. I brought an uh, external recorder because at least it has a little bit of wind mitigation. Uh, just in case I'm restarting here, um, I got the rocker cover off. The inside of the rocker cover looks excellent. It's actually oily rather than sludgy. So somebody's been doing the oil change intervals. And uh, every orifice I've looked at so far on this engine has been nice and clean. I mean, uh, the valve lifters here are uh, really nice. They got oil in them. And uh, they're not full of crud. So far all the springs look good. And all the arms look good. I'm a big fan of the bar mounted um, well, Chrysler known for it, but other people did it as well. But uh, you know, solid bar as opposed to the um, individual lifters. I don't know. For some reason, I think that that's pretty uh, rigid design. I think it probably should be done. And then the oil passages, you know, come up and through and, and uh, lubricate all. It's got these little still sleeves in between in order to make sure they can't compress too much and come off the nib. So, uh pretty bitchin'. Now, now that I have this off, I want to try and take the head off today. I think I can take the head off. I gotta take the spark plugs out still, but I think I can take the head off uh, while it's on the tire here. Hope it's so. Got the first spark plug out. Really not that bad. It's a little carbon-y. And it's worn. I mean, it's an old plug, but uh, oh yeah, check it out. Very old. Might as well start a new thing, which is uh, my classic spark plug. Uh, it's NGK, which are the ones that are uh, typically recommended by uh, Slant 6 people. One of them, anyway. I don't know if this is the actual model, but uh, anyway, you can tell they got a lot of miles on it. The uh, electrode is worn down. There is a bit of carbon in there, but. Uh, you know, even one of my cars has a lot worse than that. We'll see what the rest of them look like. This is uh, cylinder number six. Also, uh, well, I've only ever seen it on Dodge Chrysler Plymouth, but uh, it's got these sleeves that uh, the uh, spark plug goes into, and then it goes into the block, and uh, or into the head, and. Um, this is kind of a gasket, uh, but also there's a uh, valley. There's an actual opening uh, all the way across. And so that keeps uh, oil from spewing out and uh, into other parts of the engine. I noticed they were running these without the rubber rings. There's some uh, gaskets. I think I have a set. If I'm lucky, I've got a set of those. Kind of ring that goes in there just to make sure it seals the oil. But uh... Anyway, yeah, pretty funky uh, little thing. I think all slants have this. Uh, maybe up until a certain point, they may have... Maybe a time in the late 70s or something like that where they eliminated it, but all the ones I've ever seen have one of those. And this, here's the gasket. That one seems kind of alright. Sometimes they get really brittle and cracked. But that helps it uh, seat with the uh, with the head better. I certainly don't want them falling out. I had that happen on my snowmobile one time. Wonder why I suddenly lost power. Heard a bang. Spark plug firing right out on the inside of the uh, cowl. Luckily, it didn't strip anything. I do like the fact they're consistent. Sometimes, even if there is an issue, it's kind of best to see it across. Otherwise, you know, if you saw two and three had some fucked up issue, uh, you might have a broken head gasket or, or a, a sever between the two cylinder gaskets or whatever. But uh, I do like to see pretty standard. These would still work, I'm sure. They're all the same type, which is handy. I can get at seeing what the crack in these head bolts or these uh, yeah head bolts are like. They're going to be torqued proper. And uh, I doubt I've hit them already with PD blaster. Probably still going to need a hammer. Also open, it doesn't just fall right off. I'll leave one of the middle ones in uh, until the final. Really, probably should be using the breaker bar. Let's do that. 
Now keep in mind, this is the one that I broke the uh, lower shock mount off the 74 Plymouth with, but uh, that's all right. That was my fault, not hers. Just remember, while she's in the room, boys, it's always your fault and not hers. It's allowed to be different out in the shop, but that's the only place it can be different. But I definitely don't want it getting torqued sideways because that's exactly what fucked me on the Plymouth. Yeah. Dig it. Next time I'm buying a ratcheting one of these. I'm not doing the same pattern here I would when I, if I was tightening them down. Don't mind if I pull up a chair. I'm feeling my age. Just like it was uh, this engine, the first time I'm, I pulled the manifold off of any of my slants, uh, this would be the first time I've had the head off of any of them as well. That's what this engine is for. I'd much rather, if I'm going to break something, break this sucker than one that's already in a car. I noticed the red car, by the way, the 66, has an increasing blow-by. So my guess is the rings are starting to get old. So were this build-up be fully successful, I don't know exactly when that will finish, but... The possibility is I can just take this sucker, put it into the uh, 66, take that one out, and uh, start it all over again. <coughs> and that's also part of the point, having this here. You know, it's really not, certainly no rest. Just occurred to me, I'm sitting in the light, of course, as usual, and who knows what the hell this is going to look like. I never know until I take it into the studio, anyway. Ah! I'll give you a better shot. It's time for a smoke, boys. I've been trying to keep up the pressure on this engine because, uh, as the lovely wife will point out to me, there was a 1899 uh, Chandler and Price printing press here for about... <laughs> Oh, 10 years maybe. <laughs> Close to 10 years anyway. A few years back, uh, I traded it to a guy for some uh, printing work. He's got a whole bunch of them just down the road here. and uh, I basically don't want the same thing to happen to this. I want to make some progress, get it on the stand, and then I can even cart it into the uh, basement if I have to, keep it out of the moisture. <laughs> so I have been trying to... Uh, you know, every time that there's been good weather on the weekend, I've made pretty good progress, I think. We got her almost torn down here, and once it's up on the stand, uh, anything can happen. But this is also the pathway where we get the uh, lawn tractor in and out. So it's kind of a corridor. It's the only place where I have cement, which is why it had to start here, because uh, the driveway's all gravel, and the engine hoist wasn't digging that a lot. So this is kind of the only cemented uh, cemented area I've got on the property. Anyway, I think it's a good idea to take the bar off. Then I don't have to worry about anything getting bent if uh, well, if I should fuck up. So I'll never fuck, you know. How would Murphy let that happen, eh? That would be bizarre. I may have to build something that'll keep the rods together. Uh, they kind of wear individually. Whether I replace them or not, I'm going to try and keep them together. What do I have? Alright, I found the cock for Dolly.
Probably they're too long for that. Yeah, they'll just fall right in, so I'll put them in the short side. All right, tool for the job in this case is the uh, electrical probe. I assume these little uh, bent washers here conform, you know. But maybe not. It's, uh, this doesn't rotate. So maybe not. Can't hurt though. Can't hurt. Yeah, I think they would have, uh, if I had a ton of height wise. Oh, no, they wouldn't have actually. I was worried they would just fall in to the box. Go to the box and feel shame. Don't do that. I'm still calling everything I've seen so far fucking bitching. A wee bit of wear on the pads there, but really, fuck all. They're an excellent... Oh, if there's one here that's been digging a bit. That would be one, two... That would be the intake on cylinder three. Got a bit of gouging. I might not. Yep. So that's been rubbing. Somebody's out doing their flight training today, doing circles up. Sorry, I keep going off topic, but I got so many goddamn interested. Airplanes are another one of my fucking things. Cessna 172. Not sure how many fucking tens of thousands of those they made, but... Hundreds of thousands, probably. And there's a bracket for the engine mount. that bolt back in until I get the other one out. Hoping that's it. If there's two bolts on there then we are a little bit hosed. I know. This one. That's it. <sighs> I think that will divorce that engine mount. I'm hoping it will. Oh, boys. I can say fucking right. Oh, there we go. Yep. That was worth it. That head's not as heavy as I thought it was going to be. But we still have brought quite a bit of weight off of her. I've got a whole new... Actually, i got a couple of new gasket sets for this cocksucker. This one's still got some ply in it, though. It's not all brittle. crazy. Sometimes they're just like powder when you get them out. 
Well. Another win, boys. And there might be a girl or two. Hello, lady. Here's the valley I was talking about where the, uh, the reason they got those, hopefully you can see, <laughs> or even here, you know, where they got the uh, sleeves in order to stop the oil from spewing out. That's why the um, spark plugs have that little tube. It's basically an open, open lifter valley. It's just got your normal carbon deposits. All of them look pretty similar, which is, if all the spark plugs look similar, all this, all the combustion chambers should look similar. It just stands to reason. That's why they call a spark plug a window into the combustion chamber. Uh, they should be worn in the same way. If there was a bunch of water or some shit getting into one cylinder, this would be clean as fuck. And so would the spark plug. Not that that's good. In this case, clean would be bad, but... Oh, metal gasket. It's actually a thing of beauty. I'm quite impressed, dudes. I know I keep humming and hawing and, you know, talking about this, but... Fuck, man, I mean... For the age of what we're dealing with here, things are just in good shape. Had I not torn this apart, you wouldn't... you drive this for another 20 years, no problem. Just, it would not be a problem. I will have to say, most Dodge Plymouth uh, people aren't uh, afraid of a little tiny oil leak. That they never get their <laughs> thing wrapped around, so that's probably why they don't bother to change the fucking uh, lifter gasket. Now you can see, I'm, the, the pressure here, I'm worried about the fuel pump. I don't care much about the coil. It's, well, it's ready to come off anyway. Uh, and the oil filter and the, especially the distributor. I didn't want to be putting any sideward because if you fuck the gear up in there, you, you got a replacement going on. Now I'm almost at the place where I'm there anyway, so what does it matter? All right, I think this is the one here I had to go buy a special because, you know, obviously uh, socket sets don't come with uh, one and a quarter inch, but that's for the bolt that's on the uh, front of the pulley, or at least <laughs> it is on my cars, so. Hopefully they've got the same size on this sucker. Spins nice and free. Smooth and beautiful. See the pattern there? It's beautiful. I know that firing order way too well from all the... Uh, 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 the timing chain uh, repair on the 66. I think it is one five three six two four. Anyway, that's beautiful. It's really nice and smooth. I don't feel any fucked up spots. Just keep rolling. If there was a uh, well spun bearing or uh, something like that, I'd hear a lot of grindy probably, and I would imagine it wouldn't be quite that easy. It would. Uh, There'd be some spots probably, or maybe just even all the way around if the bearing were crunched. It would not be smooth. Pretty happy. Yeah, everything is uh, going about as well as I have any right to expect. <clears throat> Yeah, at every point along the way here, I haven't found anything that's going to uh, really upset me. Uh, no cracked pistons that I can tell from the top or anything like that. We'll find out what the uh, rings are like when we do the underside. And check the bores. Uh, pretty smooth. Not a whole lot of grindy grindy or um, scoring. It's always, you know, there's always some on the surface, but it's 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 not like there's a broken ring somewhere and it's been gouging the shit out of it for the last 20 years or something. Yeah, each of them has a little bit of the top of the piston ridge there. 
but for an engine like this, it does not fucking matter, y'all. I'm saying. I mean, this is still just what it is. It's a 50 year old engine. I'm pretty sure it's been run hard and occasionally put away wet. But even with that being the case, uh, no complaints. Yeah, look at that, it just shines right up. So I think it'll be polished by the time I'm done, boys. It'll be a show engine, I'll have to put it under glass. Yeah, putting it under glass probably, if, if, if this had a big crack down the block or some bullshit like that, I probably would make a coffee table out of it. But, uh, no sir, too good for that. I do need to invest in some other uh, grinding tools, uh, some of those good cup um, wire wheels, pistons inside of the combustion chamber, and uh, just tidy it all right up. Look at that! Actually, just she's brightening up, boys. But I'd say we've uh, you know lightened her up considerably. Once we get the um, crankshaft out there, that'll be as light as the bitch is gonna get, and then uh, it had better be liftable or, or uh, you know, well, it, it's always liftable. It's just how many peeps you got. So. I do want to get it on the stand in the next week or two, and uh, then we'll get into the really fine details and the teardowns and the rebuild or whatever the hell I'm going to do. I would say I'm not going to probably bother to buy pistons and all that stuff. Maybe I'll get a set of rings, and um, if they look at all uh, heavy wear or whatever, heavy wear, I'll get some um, up the, bear the um, crank bearings. Definitely gonna do the uh, timing chain. I, I, unless someone's done it recently, it's probably good to do. And uh, like I say, that's about the <laughs> timing chain is about the only thing I'm an expert on in these goddamn things. Uh, I only did it once, but uh, the way I did it, I did it three times. So, yeah. Uh, thanks for uh, hanging around. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, I will certainly talk to you all soon. Bye.